Hello and happy day. Welcome. I am Meredith and I am here with our message for Monday, the 6th of March, 2023. We're using the This Might Hurt Tarot for our message today. Let's see what's going on in the energy atmosphere according to Tarot, how we might make the most of it. Our first card is the Three of Cups. Celebration, connection, collaboration, Ace of Cups to the power of three. <laughs> I feel incoming intuition on this card. I feel a sharing of resources as well. And I feel the energy of inspiration collaboratively profoundly off this card today. So our conversations inner dialogue and self-relationship and with everyone else will, I feel, upon reflection, be quite profound for us. So be attentive, awake, aware, and alert to the signs, symbols, and synchronicities that come out of your conversations today, your connection with others. Our next card. Seven of Pentacles, a beautiful seven, heaven touching earth within us in a very grounded way here. And the seven in this, the seven of Pentacles in this deck, I love it because, you know, the character is smiling. They're happy. They're happy with their, their investment and the harvest that they see on the vine. I feel that we are in a great state of appreciation for what we have in the here and now and how it is paying reward forward for us. Uh, and that's just the message of this card too. It's cultivating our own ripple effect. So look at the joy and the happiness that ripples from this kind of connection celebration over here. This stays with us for a long time period of experience, doesn't it? We have great connection and communication with the people who are nearest and dearest. And then we are away from this scenario and that joy is still ringing, ringing out in the ripple effect. And you see the ripple effect here growing on the vine, meaning this is something that has staying power. It lasts. And, you know, we've been getting a message recently out of the cards about being willing to go the distance no matter what's in front of us, no matter what kind of challenge or hardship uh, that we encounter within our ego and within the energy atmosphere, we keep going. So I love seeing the smile on the face of this character, especially in this deck, because in so many of the tarot decks, the character on the card just looks woebegotten, you know, tired, worn out from putting so much effort into the cultivation of what's growing there. And I feel as I look at these two cards that we have a sense of being inexhaustible, which is wonderful when it comes to what we're growing from our own heart space. Next, Six of Swords. Yes, see, it has the ability to take us a long way. And the Six of Swords is a card about moving from less than favorable energies into much more favorable energies. And I would say we're already there based on the two cards in front of it. So we are in great momentum with this kind of joy, this kind of happy, this kind of ripple effect. Keep going with the flow. Oh my gosh. Then look at this. We have the eight of wands, a swift moving energy. So we're going to pick up speed within our momentum that we are under. And where is all of this going? Look at that, right into the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, the Dream Come True card, the Ace of Cups to the power of nine. Add that to the three. <laughs> nice. We come into, that would be the Queen of Cups if we were to add. If we're to subtract the three from the nine, we get the six, which is the Soulmate card. Whoa. So this confirms what I... I sense over here having some inspiration from our intuitive gifts and from our intuitive collaborations, connections, communications with others brings about even more inspiration that we can flow into what's already on the vine and thriving 
so that we can go the distance six of swords in a swift moving energy how energy is woven together in a way that creates a super solid foundation for us in a great momentum here on the eight of wands ultimately resulting in the nine of cups the dream come true and i don't feel that this is isolated to just one aspect of life experience this is related to all aspects of our life experience because you don't do an upgrade a frequency shift within your own spiritual journey and self-relationship without it affecting absolutely everything. So I feel that the level of fulfillment is really thrilling, really exciting for us. And even though we've seen a bit of the Nine of Wands in readings past where we've been encouraged to dig in, find your endurance, find your fortitude, we did it. And because of that, we have moved energy along more swiftly perhaps than we even thought possible you know we did see the tower card recently in i think it was in the weekend reading we had the devil the empress the death card the tower card those were some profound major arcana cards and they spoke to us really making a big change i think temperance was mixed in there too so great alchemy for us and i feel it's created this beautiful swift moving flow that we see over here so it's worth digging in and finding your deepest inner strength and bringing it forward to cultivate the fulfillment of our nine of cups here mm. let's take a look at the bottom of the deck first card two of cups how sweet is that the ever strengthening and deepening bond within connection to self this is my how you show up is how you will be met card. Another thing that I enjoy in this particular deck is that the characters on the card are embracing. They've exchanged their cups. They've opened their arms and hearts to one another and they have embraced one another. So this is us in self-relationship. This is how we're showing up. We're showing up met by our own love by our beautiful authenticity and this is exactly what we have to share and celebrate over here on the three of cups and this is how we create a ripple effect of joy that results in the fulfillment of great abundance and contributes even more dynamic flow to the broadcast and the ripple effect that we're experiencing here in the nine of cups <laughs> Oh my goodness, look, another six. Six of wands, victory and success, homecoming to the self. These cards, these two feel like a repeat to one another. <laughs> so that's great confirmation for us. Then we have, gosh, buckle up, folks. Here's the chariot. So we have three cards of, of good momentum on the table with the six of swords the Eight of Wands, and now the Chariot. We are in dynamic momentum. There's no stopping us. Our sense of victory, our sense of inner unity, and our desire to hmm, break down the walls, tower card from the weekend reading, and flow with the fulfillment of our dreams, everything that we have been investing in, that energy is really, really high, very compelling. We would be hard pressed to resist moving in the uprising of our joy, the bubbling over of our happiness. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot to hold that back, so don't. <laughs> Go with it. And then we have the 10 of wands. Beautiful, what a fantastic card, all 10s are about fulfillment and i was feeling over here a sense of sharing resources on the three of cups i feel that's being confirmed here with the ten this card is referred to as the burden card meaning you've gone as far as you can with the ace of wands to the power of ten it's time to set down the burden i don't see that as a burden i see that as a great cultivation this is tremendous fulfillment in a Again, I feel that sense of sharing resources and inspiration on this card. So we're about to set ourselves free in some way too. 
This is why we're seeing such momentum in the reading with the six, the eight in the chariot, because we've got everything we require. We've got a very healthy and abundant system of manifestation blossoming here on the seven of coins. We are well met in self relationships, so we are able to successfully and victoriously go out and celebrate and be well met in all of our priority connections and we have a lot to spare and share and that's all coming back to us in the dynamic flow as well and then we have justice our scale our scales are balanced we have great self-sovereignty here and what a wonderful solid energy to stand in as well this is also the satisfaction of some kind of karmic energy as well balancing the scales of karma we may have freed ourselves from you know again i'm going to reach back to the weekend reading where we saw the empress paired with the devil we saw the death card we saw the tower you can see fulfillment in the ten of wands so perhaps whatever we were journeying with and through on the weekend reading has resulted in just this type of inner self connection so this is exactly how we can greet the world on a stable foundation in great happiness with dynamic energy to go in any direction we choose. How far do you wanna take it? <laughs> Whatever it is, I say take it all the way. <laughs> go the distance with yourself and enjoy every blessing that the Nine of Cups is pouring out into your world. All right. Angel answers. Look for more signs and synchronicities here in these cards. Ask a question of them if you have one. Let them also be a message from your own guides and angels. <laughs> Listen to your intuition. First one, flipping over in the deck for us. Of course, because that's what got us here. You know, we've had to take a lot of things on faith. And... Some of us are doing what others would say was impossible. We are making it possible for ourselves. That's the dynamic energy that I feel here in the reading. Next. No need to worry. Of course not, because we trust ourselves. How could we not when we create a flow of energy like this? That's also a good message to some of you that the universe has your back. One of my favorites in this deck, communicate clearly, ask questions, check in with folks when you're speaking and sharing, ask if they understand what you've just put out there. And if you don't get what they're saying, clear it up. Do not fill in blanks with assumptions ever. No verbal clutter. <laughs> this is also a reminder to speak very clearly in self-relationship between you know, with, within your own heart space and the dynamic all of the divine all. Speak very clearly about what your intentions are. Also, take comfort in knowing that the multiverse knows the truth of your heart. So you don't have to get so fancy with the way that you speak over your life when you're in conversation with the multiverse. All right, one more. Turned over in the deck and I just lost it. Oh, here it is. Beautiful, helpful people. Yes, that's what we're seeing over here on the Three of Cups. Excellent. This is a collaborative card. It is a great celebration card. So turn to the people that you would celebrate and collaborate with and enjoy this dynamic ripple effect that's taking place here in the reading last not least certainly the shaman's dream oracle how is our soulful presence informing our waking human consciousness and we have woodwives adaptability yes stay adaptable stay flexible stay in the flow because this kind of energy, this kind of journey can go in any direction. <laughs> and 
and we're along for the ride. So no resistance, be adaptable. Have a beautiful Monday, everyone. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. Namaste.